Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and today I'm going to do the computer graphics stuff for the 3D waving American flag. Uh, the last video I did was the American flag cut, and I finished it out. It came out really cool, and I told y'all I'd do the computer stuff for you so you could learn to do it yourself. So here we go. Okay, guys, here we are in Vetric Aspire. Uh, we're going to go to create a new file. And you want to make your base 18 by 12. We're just calling that base because this is a work area. It's going to be the base of the flag. I made my, in, my thickness an inch and a half. We can adjust any of these later if we decide we want to make it bigger or thicker or whatever. I went from material surface. You can do it from either, either that or the machine bed. The benefit behind putting it on the machine bed from here is... We're going to carve basically all the top of the wood, so if you have to change bits, you're going to want a constant to uh, do a bit change in zeroing. I zero mine to the extra because I always make my piece of wood a little bit bigger where I put my clamps. So I just zero to that area. Uh, I'm going to do it from the center. I always like home to be the center. It's just my preference. You can do it from the corners. Uh, very high on the resolution and I've got pine as wood and that's fine so okay so the first thing we're going to do is drag us a rectangle 18 by 12 so now I've got a border around it so right there you can type it in if you like next thing I'm going to do is make me a star and I'm going to drag it until it's 0.3 outer radius, 40%, good, close, okay. So now, drag this right down here at the corner. So right here, you're going to highlight your star. You're going to go to Array, and you're going to want nine rows, six columns, 0.6 for your gap, and that's going to be your gap in between your stars. And the Y gap is going to be 0 0.0984. That way it's just barely above them. So right down here on your X, you're going to put 0 0.75. I'm going to do it three quarters an inch, the displacement, displacement, just because it's going to fill the field. So you hit copy, and it makes your field of stars. So highlight it, ungroup it. These last four stars right here we do not need. So I just drug and did that. So now let's regroup those. Right click, group. So those are all one unit. So now the next thing is we're going to put a box around these, around the stars. So we're going to take and drag the square drag it right there and we're going to make this point 7.7 and 6.3 and a plot so now we'll have to run up here and close out of that we'll have to set it where it's right on the border just like so so now just click on your stars Hold down shift and click this box. Go right here to the align selected objects tool. Up here is normally the one most of the time we use. This one, we're going to use this top one right here. And it will align these stars to the last object you selected. And so we select that box. So that's done. So the next thing is we're going to make stripes. Put a rectangle. Drag you on all the way across. So we're 18. And this needs to be 0 0.9231. Apply. So again, down here, we're going to have to align these a little bit. change the size on them. Just snap it down there to the base. Okay, with that highlighted, we're going to array. 
we want 13 rows, one column, and we want all of this stuff wiped out. So we hit copy. There's our stripes. We'll close out of that. So right here on the stripes, you're going to click and we're going to ungroup these. And we need to, we're going to erase every other stripe. So, so we're going to select our top stripe and erase that stripe, our third stripe. Right there, we're going to erase that one, our fifth stripe, basically just every other one. We just erase it, and whenever we get done, I'm going to go backwards here since I got messed up. Okay, so every other stripe's erased. When we get done, this will make this stand tall, and then we're going to make a valley through here, and so every other stripe's going to be lowered. Okay, so now right here, we're just going to drag low and up, and we're going to get those three stripes, highlight all those, and we're going to drag these three stripes over. Now we're just going to try to match this little space in between that stripe. That way it makes it look equal. Okay. And our next thing, we're just going to highlight the stripes. Click on them again so we can drag them. Hold down shift and watch what happens to both ends and pull out. See, they pulled out equally. So we're doing that so whenever it cuts valleys for the stripes, it will go past the edge of the board and make it look like it just runs right off the board. So basically right there, we are got everything we need to go to modeling. So click on modeling. And first we're going to click, click down here, and we're going to do the base. So we'll go to component, 0.125. I want the base to be a quarter inch. 0.25 and we want it up, so we're going to call it base. And apply. So it's changed colors, it's now there, it's now a 3D component. So we'll close that and we're going to highlight the stars. We're going to make a component out of it. We want it flat. This we want at 0.125, which is an eighth of an inch. That's how far up your stars are going to stand. And that's what these little emblems right down here mean. That means standing up and down low. So I'm just going to call that stars. Apply. So now they're highlighted that different color. That means it's done. We will check that. Let's go up here to 3D. There's your stars standing out. Okay, so go back to 2D. This time we're going to highlight just the stripes. Component. And the stripes we want to be eighth of an inch deep, flat, and we want these down. Because we want <coughs> we want these cut down into the so we'll hit straps, apply, <coughs> excuse me, and close. And again, let's run up here to 3D. I uh, need to let it process first, which I did not. Okay, so you got your stars and stripes. That's the basis of your flag. Let's go back to 2D. Now, I want to highlight everything there. Okay, when it turns black. So we're going to run right up here to this little tool. It says create a component from a visible model with a draft. So what that means is we're going to place an angle on each of the stripes and angle the stars just about a little bit. We're going to move this little slider up to 30 degrees. Apply it. 
and it'll take a minute down here at the bottom to process that and reload it. But what this does, this just gives it kind of a finished look whenever you put that little angle on it, just not real sharp, hard edges. And it just gives it that more finished look. So we'll click on 3D again and we'll zoom in there and you can see your drafted edges and on your stars, your dra they have their angle there. So it's just kind of a good look. So now we're going to go over to drawing, go to 2D view, get that thing back out there closer to the middle, come over here to line tool, draw you a line just a little longer than the width of the flag there. Okay, and you can put it at an angle, you can put it straight up and down, whichever you like. Click on that, highlight, we're going to copy. We're going to paste it, so we're taking a duplicate of it to the other end. In between there, we're going to come right here to draw a curve. I always like to zoom in a little bit. And we're just going to play with drawing a curve. And you can do this any direction you like. You can make as many hops. And it may take more than one try doing this. Okay, so that's a pretty little, neat little pattern there. So we'll go back to modeling. Go up here to the second tool on top. It says create a shape by sweeping between two rails, two rail vectors. Click on that. So you're going to highlight the first rail. Hold down shift. Highlight the second rail. Use selection. And we're going to click on the little line down here, hit apply, it's going to regenerate here for a second. Okay, so now it's yellow and it's got these little lines, go to 3D view, and now we have waves in our flag. And so if you didn't like that, your little pattern you just did, hit reset, It takes you back to flat. So then we go back over to drawing, 2D views, erase your bottom rail. So we'll go over here to the, this again and we'll redraw one. And like I said, I, I had to do this several times. I didn't like my first couple. So again, we've drawn it. We'll do the same process. Go to modeling. Go up to your rails. Highlight the rails. Use selection. Click the bottom line. Apply. I'm going to regenerate for a second. It's dragging through. Look at it. See if you like them. Looks pretty good. I mean, I'm getting a little thin right here. I would probably want it a little thicker if I were going to use this actual model for cutting. But it's still a cool look. I mean, just a nice little waving flag. So we're going to close this. And we're going to run over to Drawing. Let's flip on over to our toolpath side. So on our toolpath side, we're going to click this 3D roughing toolpath. So it's going to give you a material setup. And as you can see, I'm fitting within my three quarter inch stuff. So right here, inch and a half inch thick. We're going to start in the middle. Make sure that you've got plenty of material left below your cutting. You want to go all the way to the top. So we're going to hit OK. So we can go to the model boundary. We're going to use a quarter inch end mill. Jump over here and make sure we're on quarter inch end mill. Hit OK. And we're just going to slide down the bottom and calculate. So hit 
preview selected. I'm going to drag it so you can see it. And you can see it makes all these little weird boxes and stuff, which I'm sure you saw whenever I cut mine. So from there, we're going to close that. We're going to go to the one right next to it, the 3D finishing toolpath. We're going to go to model boundary. We're going to select a quarter inch ball nose. We're going to run down here to calculate. This one will calculate a little slower because it's determining all the graphics it's about to do. <clears throat> and you know, there's more than one way to do this same process. In fact, I'm going to leave a link to a guy from Spindle TV. So if I forget to leave the link or can't get it put up there for some reason, Spindle TV. This guy does all sorts of modeling, and I've watched several of his videos, and that's where I learned how to do this flag. His flag is a lot more in-depth than mine. He does a few more processes. I'm going to go ahead and select Toolpath while I'm talking. And... Uh, I mean, he just does a few other things. He adds things out in the middle of the flag, emblems and whatnot. I'm just kind of doing the basic waving flag. So we've ran that process. Looks real good. The one thing I added to mine that even that other guy, I don't remember if he did or not. I go to 2D. I'm going to highlight my stars. We're going to run one more process on it. I'm going to do another finishing toolpath. Go to selected vectors. So that way we're doing just those stars. And I'm going to go up here to an eighth inch ball nose. I was just wanting to add more detail to my stars. Let's calculate that. And this won't take long. There it is. And I'll slow it down so you can see basically what it's going to do. It basically just comes in here and flattens out the tops and kind of squares them off for you on the top so they're easier to paint and kind of gives a more detail. So we're going to go ahead and finish that up. So from there, click on each tool path, go up here and hit save, and just do them one at a time, remember to change your bits. And like I said, I'm going to leave a link to that other guy's uh, video because his is a lot more in depth. I just kind of ran you through it real quick, give you the basic idea of what's going on. He can explain each process. Uh, very thoroughly. So that's the Waving American Flag, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. And if y'all haven't done so yet, please subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.